My name is Ana Lopez. I'm the area coordinator of metalsmithing and jewelry. I'm part of a crack team of metalsmiths here at the University of North Texas. And in our spare time, we fight crack. This is Harlan Butt and James Thurman. We also have a number of other adjunct faculty who help us. It's a wonderful place to be, whether you're a metalsmithing student or not. Uh, we get students from all areas who just desperately need to melt something or hit something or learn how to do a particular process. I'm going to start showing you some of my earlier work, I'll move up to the advanced stuff. Um, these things were biomorphic explorations combining naturalistic references and uh, little pieces of industry. I was living north of Detroit in the time and the industry sort of seeped in. But if you ever really want to know what your work is about, you have to show small children because they will tell you. Um, the last piece was apparently a, um, oh, what was that? It was an alien. Um, this one, I was thinking about reproduction, about the reproduction of plants, about grafting, um, but also sort of biological reprodu reproduction. This piece was called System, and it set up both like a cardiovascular system, it looks a little bit like a reproductive system, but again, you go to the kids, what did I make? A reindeer. So, <laughs> <laughs> truth. That's the truth that comes from children. But I like raising, I like a lot of different fabrication things. I'm generally a very happy person because I get to hit things that don't scream. Um, I tried combining the metal instead of with uh, industrial references. I started putting them right on the human body. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. But what I ended up doing was taking the industrial references off and putting them on the biomorphic form of a human in terms of jewelry, which is also a part of my field. So funnels, vents, I'm really big into vents. I don't know why, I'm not in therapy, so I can't explain it. But uh, so I started putting these things on in terms of brooches, in terms of necklaces, replacing the skin of the biomorphic forms with the second skin of the human form. There we go. All right, I am not from here, which you can't tell from this photo. But uh, when I moved here, this was my 10th state. And so I started also thinking about place. What does it mean to be in a place for a very long time and develop a different kind of relationship to it? And the longer I was here, there were things that I saw all the time. And if I have learned anything from Science of the Lambs, it is that that what we see every day is that which we start to covet. So um, this is my neighbor's roof, and that is the um, attic turbine vent that was on the top of it. And I decided that it desperately needed to be on my shoulder. So I made a shoulder brooch, and it spins. Thank you. <laughs> you can see the video on my website. Um, I also travel and I develop relationships with places, sometimes here, sometimes abroad. It's much more fun to leave my house. And, uh, and I find things that I respond to, again, vents. This one is actually on a little known part of a secondary building at Versailles in France. And so what I'm looking at Versailles and there are all these beautiful colonnades and all these beautiful architecture and I find the vent. Um, this is a vent from a Paris metro, Paris subway metro, the interior. So I, first of all, I was there years ago, took a picture. So I'm the crazy, I'm the crazy American taking pictures of the insides of subways. And then I got to go back this summer and take a picture of myself with it. That's what I was doing there. We have a great study abroad program. I highly recommend it. You get to go back to Paris and take pictures of yourself wearing vents and other stuff. <laughs> I'm sure we went to some museums too, but this is what it looks like up close. It's only about three inches square. Um, Paris Metro event. I, I am joined in my search for truth and beauty uh, by a number of very able colleagues. Deanna Uli uh, ran the study abroad class and it was for all areas. It was on color theory and ideation and she had all types come. She has done some really interesting work. She's working on scent now, pieces that draw particular memories, but she earlier had some work that um, involved cutting up dollar bills and things. Harlan Butt is the king. He's a regents professor and he does this exquisite enameling on vessels. It's colored glass fused in and out of kilns 20, 30 times to build up these beautiful layers of color. James Thurman, also part of our team. You guys might have met him downstairs or you might meet him downstairs later. Uh, also head of the Metals Club, which you can join without being a member. He laminates paper with a special kind of resin and then he turns it like wood. He makes it into jewelry, he makes it into these sort of beautiful objects, but he's finding a way to sort of recycle paper into these functional objects. Uh, Uma Demigurk Thurman also works on our team. Uh, she's from Istanbul, she makes beautiful jewelry and then sometimes the two of them collaborate on wearable things. They have a line of work and they are, they are um, multi-country couple, it's very exciting. Um, she 
uses a lot of references from um, Turkish culture. And then here I brought in some student works. You can take Medals One and walk away a happy camper. Or after you take our Medals One class, you can take any of our intermediate level classes, which are thematic. We do um, color and surface, adornment, uh, plasticity, all these different things. And then our students who continue in the major go on to specify in one area or another. For example, they might do one of a kind, they might do, uh, they might organize their practice as works for commission, or they might do multiples for sale uh, to the public for the craft shows. We've had students go on to work bench jobs at major jewelers, we've had them go on to work in manufacturers, uh, one of a kind art, um, people who are interested in combining um, fashion and jewelry, but we've had students had a lot of success in a lot of things. Uh, so, but there is a downside to majoring in jewelry. Yes, there is. So, you've been warned, but if you feel like melting something or hitting something, come see us downstairs. Thank you very much.